Medicine as a field has long been critiqued for being gender biased and not accounting for social determinants that shape health conditions, access to health care and health outcomes. Gender bias does permeate many aspects of medicine in India, ranging from clinical practice to medical education. In the year 2014, Center for Enquiry into Health and Allied Themes, Sehat, in collaboration with the Directorate of Medical Education and Research Maharashtra and the Maharashtra University of Health Sciences, embarked on a project which aimed to integrate gender in the undergraduate medical curriculum. The disciplines of gynecology and obstetrics, forensic science and toxicology, community medicine, internal medicine and psychiatry were selected as they are considered core disciplines of the undergraduate medical curriculum. Medical educators were trained to integrate gender concerns into their teaching, make revisions to the curriculum and spearhead the implementation of the revised curriculum. Assistant professors and associate professors from six rural government medical colleges and one private medical college were selected to become change agents. The participants played a key role in co-constructing knowledge. Lots of case studies, debates and role play were employed to make the learning dynamic. All of this happened within regular teaching and working hours, so as not to add to the burden of these professors. A study was also undertaken to assess the project's feasibility. Was it possible to implement within the stipulated lecture time? Would students attend these lectures? Would these additions make a dent in transforming the knowledge, attitude or practice of doctors? The answer to all of these questions was a resounding yes. So I am going to read some sentences and for that particular sentence you are supposed to tell me is it sex related or is it gender related? Women menstruate. Sex biology. Very good. Men are better at playing cricket than women are. Yeah. Remember Smruti Mandhana, right? Women are gentle by nature. Yeah. Gender, they are trained to do that, isn't it? The woman who does, who is not gentle, immediately we start to array kasli mil gaye, right? Men cannot do housework. Yeah. And men cannot control their sexual drive. We have a division of house, no? So let's do a vote. Who wants to say it is sex related? <laughs> so you had change of mind. So are you sure it is gender related? Yes. Very clear? Yes. If it is sex related, it has to be same for every man. Is it same? Medical educators accepted these gender-integrated modules wholeheartedly because they found them complementary to the existing syllabus. Student attendance improved and the entire training process resulted in a dramatic change in the mindset of the core group. The university had decided that they are going to incorporate gender sensitivity into the curriculum and begin at the grassroots levels with first-year students so that it happens. And we were happy to associate it with an NGO, Sehat, for this. If I have 150 students passing out every year, then they're going to work in the 50 other medical colleges in Maharashtra and maybe 500 medical colleges across the country. So if they have picked up even a bit of a spark, then that student is my ambassador there and also the ambassador for this cause. I was a gender blind when I was groomed as a postgraduate student, as a faculty. But since last four years now, we are gender sensitive. If I apply a gender lens to my further teaching, definitely I can do the justice to the students and the women also. And this is what the change we brought in our department. But still, the medical education, now also the books, they are not gender sensitive. There are many books which are having still gender blind sentences. That has to be changed. The Academic Council of Maharashtra has reviewed and approved this gender integrated curriculum and a directive for implementation of the gender integrated curriculum has been issued in 2018 to medical colleges across Maharashtra. Till date, 300 doctors have been trained and they in turn have transmitted this knowledge, attitude and practice to their students, to nurses and of course their fellow doctors. A positive beginning has been made. Moving forward will require many more champions within each and every medical college. Mm -hmm.